What better way to wake up on the second day of the cruise than sitting out on the veranda enjoying the views that the ocean had to offer. No land in sight as today was the first of two sea days in a row. We have been lucky enough to get Apollo brunch for this second day of the cruise. However, I wanted a little pick-me-up, and I knew that the best place to get that was at Cove Cafe. And I also had set a goal to buy at least five specialty coffees so I could get that sixth coffee free. I went up to the Cove Cafe and introduced myself to the, the cast members there. They were wonderful. They made me a specialty drink. I just told them the ingredients I wanted. And they also offered some snacks. So here I am in Coke Cafe having my first, I got one of those punch card things. And I'm having a sticky cinnamon bun, a rice beer drink, and a caramel. What do you say, espresso or something like that? I don't know. And this is, I got a pot low in about uh, an hour, so this is gonna hold me till then. I was really looking forward to Paulo Brunch as I had experienced it before on The Dream and also on The Wonder. And I know how great it was then. I wanted to see if it still lived up to the reputation that it had built in my mind. I don't, we're in the lounge between Remy's and Paulo's. I think it's called, is this Magellan's? No, Magellan's, I don't know. I'm not sure. Are we on the back? Yeah, we're on the back of the ship. I keep forgetting. This is the view from the back, the very back of the ship. Nothing. No island, well, hold on, is that land? Land ho, I don't know. Or is that just a horizon? Anyway, it's a beautiful, it's been just relaxing. I'm kind of forgetting to make video stuff for YouTube. I'm so relaxed. Uh, beautiful. I'm having a wonderful time so far. I do miss Kiyomi, my wife, but I mean, she, she's very understanding and I'm blessed to have her to let me do this kind of experience. And of course, Olu Mel joined us at Palo Brunch. Luckily, I didn't have to pay the $45 fee for him to join us, even though he did have to wear a collar shirt. At Paulo, you get a complimentary drink, and Charity had ginger ale because she had she can't drink alcohol, and I had the mimosa. Um, actually, I think I had two mimosas. I think they gave both of them to me complimentary, since Charity didn't drink hers. Um, then we started out with the bread service. Our server just said, This is a little start. What? Little start. There was so much bread to eat and such a large variety. I don't think we could eat it all. I mean, we enjoyed a bit of a taste of each one of the breads, and it was so fresh, so good. 
And I kept thinking of my daughter, Juno, because she loves croissants. And uh, every time I would take a bite of the croissant, I would think of her. Um, but yeah, the bread service was amazing and it was just the start. Charity decided to start off with pancakes and they had a little bit of white sugar powder on top and they came with fresh fruit and a whipped cream. Now I decided to have my favorite Mickey waffles, especially because Mickey waffles are my favorite snack at Tokyo Disney Resort at the American Waffle Company. Mickey, Mickey waffle with strawberry soup, strawberry. Yeah, I don't know. I'm always, well, we, I'm not eating until dinner. <laughs> Even just after having bread and the waffle, I was already feeling my stomach getting full. So I knew I wouldn't be having a big lunch or anything later. Charity had an omelet and then I had an eggs benedict, which I don't eat eggs benedict very often because it's really difficult to make at home. However, this one was really good really delicious and wow we were off to a great start at Paolo's brunch. Our brunch continued with me making a special request for a pizza that I had had at Paolo brunch on other ships. It was for the Gorgonzola great pizza. I hope I'm saying that correctly and it was just as good as I ever remember it. Of course they were very accommodating and just made it fresh, brought it out, and oh, I loved it. Probably the second best thing on the menu for me. All right, we're about to try it. I'm about to eat this pizza that I remember as being really good. Uh, but I'm telling you, I'm full, and we still got like lasagna coming and chicken parmesan coming. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting full. There won't be any lunch for a while. Maybe, maybe later in the afternoon, but we'll see. But let's try this pizza. What was it? Goat cheese, grapes, something. Don't ask me. But I remember it. I mean, I remember tasting it before. But yeah. At, at, at Apollo. Apollo. They're not at uh, Apollo. We're at Apollo's. Apollo's. Yeah, Apollo's. I actually ended up ordering two entrees. I ordered the lasagna because I wanted to try it and it was really good, but it was time for the reason, the main reason I made this reservation at Palo Brunch, the chicken parmesan. If you've never had the chicken parmesan at Palo's, you've never had chicken parmesan. It's so good. It's amazing. Charity had the same thing, although hers was cooked slightly different. You have to have the chicken parmesan. Okay, this is the moment I personally have been waiting for. This, I know it's gonna be amazing, and I've got the lasagna too today. I'm gonna try them both. I'm gonna eat all of that one. Well, no, I'll guarantee you, that's not a big portion, so I can eat that. So I think I'm really happy with that, that it's not so big so I can enjoy it. But yeah, this, the chicken parmesan, is heaven on earth, and the lasagna, probably gonna be heaven on earth too. First bite of chicken parmesan. Can I get up in Pablo and dance? Or if I don't want to know, can I, is it appropriate to dance?
Now I cannot sing the praises of our waiter, City, high enough. I highly, highly recommend him if you go to Apollo for brunch or dinner, whichever. The man was amazing. The best waiter I've ever had. Not at Apollo, anytime in the world, any restaurant in 53 years of my life. The best waiter I've ever had. He was graceful. He was kind. And this day was actually his birthday. So that made it extra special. Between him and the head waiter, Louis, we had the experience that I had been waiting for with a wait staff. Amazing. I cannot recommend Paulo Brunch enough. After enjoying Paulo brunch, we went back to the room to change our clothes because it was time to enjoy the midship detective agency. We played two different cases. I think Charity played the missing paintings and I played the missing puppies. I may have gotten those backwards. It was a lot of fun. We started in the afternoon and then we finished later on after dinner. Now here's one thing about the midship detective agency. If you don't finish a case, in a day, it resets for the next day. So make sure to finish the case before the end of the day. Suspects? Seven of them. And the ship's really big. Well, I think we're gonna need some help. No problem. Check out our new detectives. They're gonna help us crack this case. Uh -huh. I just know it. <laughs> detectives? We need to catch that criminal and find those stolen paintings. And that means you're going to have to search all around the ship. Susan, our detective trainer, will teach you how. You will use a high-tech detective badge. This is an amazing all-in-one tool that you'll use to solve the case. Which one did you choose? Your team will share one badge. Okay. To use it, you will need to face the black and white pattern towards the center of the screen. Now, hold up your badge with the black and white pattern facing the screen. Remember four things. Stand on the mark. I'm standing on the mark. Hold up the badge. Hold up the badge. Don't cover the pattern. I didn't cover the pattern. Keep the badge straight up and down. What are you doing wrong? Let me see. Oh, there it is. Find the key. I'm working on it. There you go. Great work. Your badge can be used in different ways. This must get through. The names are smudged. But look at that. Every name has a letter A in it. So, 
Man, Goofy. Porcupine fish. After the workout that the midship detective agency gave us, Charity went into the shops where she met some more wonderful cast members, and I went up to deck 10 to have what I thought was going to be the drink of the day. That plan changed as I came up with a new recipe, and you'll see it soon.
ring 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 Okay, now this is how you drink an adult milkshake. You get vanilla ice cream from ice cream over there. You get your truly pineapple and you pour it in there and you mix it up. That's what we're gonna do. Let's see if we can do it with one hand. Da 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 da. There we go. Pour it in, pour it in. And there we go. And then we take a stick and we mix that sucker. A little bit more. A little bit more. Do it. Let's give it a try. And that, my friend, is an adult milkshake on the Disney Fantasy with Tokyo Disney Dad. It's good. Add a little bit of truly pineapple or berry, whichever one, to some vanilla ice cream. About half cup. Half cup. That's my recipe. Needs more space with the alcohol. And that's what you got. All right. It's good. There you go. It was dinner time in Animator's Palette, and after having Paulo brunch, my expectations I know would not be met. However, we were looking forward to Animator's Palette as I had talked about it with my sister earlier, and we were looking forward to The Crush Show, which I had seen on the Disney Dream. This was the first night in Animator's Palette, so it was The Crush Show versus The Drawing Show, and the show itself was pretty good. Dinner, well, just wait and see. I really like the way the artwork and the animation and the statues all set the mood of Animator's Palette. It's a great little restaurant. And this was the first time that our table was in a decent position so that we could see things. For example, the screen. The other restaurants, our table were in odd places, especially in uh, Enchanted Garden, which was really bad. But we'll talk about that when we get to Enchanted Garden. Now, the highlight of this meal was probably the potato soup. That was really good. I enjoyed it. My sister enjoyed it. We both liked it. Charity ordered two. And um, that was, but that's the highlight of the menu for us that night. Our server, Thomas, he kind of forgot, I think he forgot, that Charity had allergies. And he, you know, didn't recommend things that fit that match of her having allergies, even though we had mentioned it the night before. And we had still not seen the head server of the restaurant, even though Charity had mentioned she had allergies, which I felt was really unusual. Charity was very patient and forgiving of Thomas forgetting about her having allergies because there was a large table with a large family nearby and he had to take care of that, so I get it. But for me, I was a little bit less forgiving and this was letting me down in my experience with Disney dining on the cruise ships. So, how do you feel about the potato soup? The potato soup is very good. Have you ordered a second one? This is my second bowl. But that's the first time you've done that, and it's unusual, and you should enjoy yourself. So, enjoy. But I also did not get an appetizer. Yep, you didn't get an appetizer. Or 
salad. Yep, that's okay. So, but the potato soup is good. Good job. And it's safe. And it's safe. I got the Angus steak. We're going to give it a try. Medium, must be medium rare. What's it like, your deep? Is it more deep? Okay, I'll take it. It's, it's more medium, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. So we had an incident. My steak tasted good the first time, but it was overcooked and it was kind of tough. But I got a new steak, and it's now the right texture. I ordered medium rare. Last time was more medium. So this one... It's like chewing on the naked butt of a cow versus the last one, which was chewing on the burnt butt of a cow. This was much better. Excellent. Are you just ready to soak with the crushed metal? Let me hear you say, jaw. Jaw. All right, Deeds. And the grab shell, hold on tight. Six pounds again. Wow, Deeds. Are you ready, Deeds? Awesome. What are we doing? Learn swim. Our boat's really shaking now. That ship is going. <laughs> no. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Cookie. What? Cookies and cream Sunday. But Crush is telling me to dance and sing. We'll see. I'm going to eat the chocolate anyway. Thank you very much. Another Sprite with Jerry. <laughs> mm. Chocolate is dark chocolate. So be careful with that. If you like dark, dark, oh, it's a little bitter. I think I'm gonna like what's underneath it better than the other stuff. Cookies and cream. <laughs> All right. Is that a Chip Ahoy cookie? Look up. Go, go. Show's over, I think. I'll eat your Sunday. Well, we're in the main lobby, right? Yeah. And that's that way, right? Yeah. I'm on the right level, right? Yeah. Okay. So after saying goodbye to Crush and Animator's Palette for dinner, we went down to the atrium, or I met Charity down in the atrium so that we could get our pictures taken by our absolute number one favorite cast member of the entire cruise. This young lady, Veronica, was a great photographer and actually got some decent pictures of this old man who never takes good pictures. And she called Charity her cruise mom the entire time. It was a great experience. I love that Veronica was able to capture just natural moments like this. 
with a big smile on my face, something you never see in Poe's pictures. Thank you, Veronica, for all the special moments that you gave us on that cruise ship. We will never forget you. And I know my sister will always consider you her cruise daughter. come back to the room and we got a I believe a puppy dog maybe a puppy dog yes we got it. maybe a puppy dog yeah that's what my vote is yes that's what it looks like to me it's a puppy dog okay everyone took your dizzy dad here finishing up cruise day number two it was a C day uh the first C day of two in a row and uh, as you saw, we went to Palo Brunch, had an incredible experience there. City, our waiter, I cannot stress enough. If you go to Palo Brunch on the Disney Fantasy and he's still there, please request him. He's amazing. My sister said he glides across the floor and he was exactly there. He was exactly there when we wanted and he gave us our privacy when we didn't want. It was like, okay, I'm thinking about, I won't. And he was right there and he was ready to take your order, do anything you needed, get you refill your drinks. My drink never got empty. Uh, it was an amazing experience. It was his birthday uh, that day, too. And, you know, me personally, when I'm if I have to work on my birthday, I got an attitude problem. And that's just me being honest. But he did a wonderful job. He treated us like VIPs. Now, the other uh, cast member you met there, my sister had met Veronica the very first day. I had not met her, even though during dining on the first day, Veronica came by the door. She was like waving at my sister and I didn't know who it was, but I met her the second day and, and we communicated the entire time. The rest of the cute cr cruise, sorry, rest of the cruise. Wonderful photographer, very, very kind hearted young lady that my sister calls her cruise daughter and Veronica introduced um, my sister to all her <laughs> fellow cast members as her cruise mom. I cannot tell you, those were only two and you'll meet some more. Um, the shop ladies were really nice to my sister. I, unfortunately, I don't know their names. Charity does, but I, I don't have the names. Uh, but that's it. That's cruise days number two, uh, sea day. And this problem was yet to be solved. Basically, I went back to get services and they said, well, we still want to try to fix it. Blah, 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 blah. Stress, stress, stress. But that's okay. It will eventually get solved. It's in the past now, so I can, I don't have to dwell on it. But I will t still say that that suitcase that was a problem, okay? That was a problem, that was an issue. One of the only downfalls, one of the two main downfalls of this cruise, the other one was the dining room service that we had, which did improve by the end, um, but we did wish we would have gone back to Paulo's for dinner. We'll talk about that later and why we didn't. It's a regret I had, very big regret that I did not go back to Paulo's. But next time, okay? Anyway, uh, before I leave, I'm going to show you this shirt. Look at this. Check it out. It says Tokyo Disney Dad. Be kind, be positive, be you. My friend Holly made this. Uh, she's the artist for this. She actually has done some um, some of the product merchandising for Shanghai Disney. Uh, um, she draws some of the art for them. And she's an independent art um, illustrator. I'll put, I'll put a link to one of her twitter or instagram or something if you want to get some artwork done she's absolutely amazing uh she did the shirt i've got another one which i'll probably show you next video uh, another great artist um and we'll share her link too uh then but let's finish this up because i'm trying to keep these videos you know within a 30 to 45 minute uh based on feedback from the vips the vip being my mom uh, and a few other people uh, that watch my vlogs. You know, I don't have patrons, but I would consider them 
at that level. My mom, my mom's my mom, you know. Yeah, you listen to your mom if you're especially from the South and my generation. Anyway, there I go rambling. But I'll say what I always say, wrap it up here. Be kind, be positive, be you. See you again real soon. Cruise day number three coming up. And I'll be out at Tokyo Disney Sea again in a couple of weeks. I miss that park a lot. See you again. Mm -hmm.